Hi folks, today I'm going to take a closer look at the DSO138 Mini, which is a portable digital storage oscilloscope from Jitec. It's something I use when I'm working with the BBC Microbit or Arduino, when I'm investigating output voltages from various sensors, although it's got plenty of other uses too. So here's how it came, with a clear plastic case in one bag and the main board containing the LED screen, the analog board and various components inside a small cardboard box. The yellow soldering iron that you can see here is a hint that I've bought the self-build kit, although you can get one pre-assembled which costs a little more. Before you start assembling though, you should check the main board to see it's working fine. I'm inserting a USB micro cable here and once plugged in and switched on, everything looked fine. In case you're wondering, that screen is a 2.4 inch TFT LCD with a resolution of 320 by 240. Next up, we can turn on the soldering iron and start on the header pins. Now this is the easy bit and you'll find assembling the analog board a little trickier. What I'm doing here is using a multimeter to measure the resistance of each resistor so that I can identify where it goes on the board, although I could use the coloured bands in the resistors to identify them. If you're new to soldering or soldering for our American viewers, then you maybe don't want to make this your first project. As it says on Jitec's website, it's assumed that users have adequate soldering skills and troubleshooting skills to assemble the DSO138 kits. It's not guaranteed that you'll end up with a working device. Now personally, assembling the oscilloscope is my favourite part of the process, and I love using it knowing that I put it together myself and it worked first time. Instructions come in the form of a double-sided A4 sheet, and this was enough to get me through the assembly process and calibration, although I'll not go into that here. So after soldering, it's time to push the two boards together and if you bought the version that comes with the case, get it inside that. You'll find instructions for this on Jitec's website, although if you're like me, you'll solder on without them, do it all wrong and have to start all over again. Anyway, we got there in the end, but then I decided to desolder the hook probes and then fit a BNC connector instead, which meant I could fit either test leads or as I have here, a BNC to banana socket adapter. I'm not going to go into an exhaustive list of features here or give a tutorial on its use, but you might want to know that the DSO138 Mini has time-based settings from 10 microseconds per division to 500 seconds per division. The Y gain settings go from 10 millivolts per division to 5 volts per division. Now the oscilloscope's bandwidth is only 100 kilohertz, so you'll start to see distortion in the signal as you approach frequencies that high. For the uses I've put it to, that's not been an issue. I found that when connected to a signal generator, I could use the oscilloscope to accurately calculate the frequency of the signal. And the manual, that A4 sheet of paper, states that the error in voltage measurement is under 5%. Not record breaking, but not bad for an oscilloscope of this price. Here's something I did recently where I made a few alterations to an Arduino microphone module for use in the classroom. Testing the output with the DSO138 Mini took far less effort than lifting some big clunky dual beam oscilloscope. So for the price, you can't go far wrong. If you're into it, you get all the fun of assembling your very own oscilloscope, which you can use to learn the basic functions that you'll also find on more expensive models once you decide to make the step up. Now I have access to far better oscilloscopes, although I'll still reach for this one for the majority of simple electronics projects because of its size and ease of use. And because I've built it myself, of course, I love it just that little bit more. So I'm afraid that's the end of yet another video. Why not subscribe and ding the bell? So that you're made aware of when new videos are released. I'm off to build a signal generator, which, believe it or not, cost one third the price of the oscilloscope. I must be a real cheapskate.